uh, currently a computer science teacher up here, but that isn't sort of my end goal. I feel like that's just sort of along the journey to get me to where I want to go. But I'm going to ask so you get all your phones to record, so I'm going to share with you some of my deepest thoughts. Share it on all your social media, send it to all your friends. That's what I'm hoping you do. Don't want you to pretend. Help me to inspire. That's what I've always wanted to do. Everything I've written in this poem is about my life and it's all true. It's called Mirror, Mirror on the Wall. Mirror, mirror on the wall, afraid to look, so I hold my head low to see no reflection at all. It all started on a bike with my cousin, going off a hill so very fast. She slammed on brakes, we crashed, and boy, that road, it really kicked my ass. As I lay face down on the ground, my cousin, she thought I was dead. As she watched the big ray of blood roll off the hill from my head. She said, she asked, Jamara, get up, are you okay? I didn't respond, what I tried to do. Moments went by, and as I laid there so still, barely alive, but that was God's will. Finally, there comes help. Unconscious though, there was nothing I felt. But then when I awoke, my life had changed. I began to feel, and I screamed in pain. The sun, the heat, my injuries exposed. I lost nine teeth and half of my nose. The ambulance arrived, and medics took over. They were amazed the damage came from a bike without a motor. They put me on the stretcher, and then we leave. When we arrived at the hospital, no one could believe. Believe it was me or understand that this was all a part of God's perfect plan. Mm -hmm. Emergency surgery I had to get, plenty of feelings but none of regret. The doctors told my parents they think I might die, so prepare for the worst. My mom began to cry. Through the grace of God, I got through the surgery, which has now become my greatest testimony. Days go by and as I lay in the hospital bed, everything was throbbing, especially my hair. Mm -hmm. Mirrors were covered. Mine was very bothered, thinking, why would this happen in a matter of a second? Remembering the moments before, feeling joy and happiness, because that day I was about to have that special first kiss. Heart sunk deep at nights while I weep, thinking of that special boy who eventually played me like I was a toy. Would I ever find love? Questions I asked to the one above? I mean, who would want to date someone that looked like me? Because a lot of men look for looks they don't want mentally. Then when they do want me, I question, is it love or is it lust? Probably cause that one special boy, he really broke my trust. In my mind, I constantly battle. Do I trust life or I love or should I just settle? 15 years, plenty of tears. Would it be like this forever or would it get any better? I'm finally ready to share how I feel. It still hurts like hell, I'll admit. Mentally, I'm not fully healed. You know that not so special boy who played me like a toy? I'll admit, I used to want him to hurt for reasons I can't defend, but he's not worth it, so now I just let my success be the Swedish revenge. Mm -hmm. This is my life, but it's just a sample. If you want to find out more, check out my YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blossom is the name, and I share how after the accident, my life was never the same. Roses are red, my rose is pink. Always remember, you are what you think. At the end of every video, that's why I always say, follow it by, and that's real. Yay, yay! <laughs> <laughs> I've learned to use the law of attraction, no longer focus on my fears, but focus on my passion. This wasn't easy for me, so I thank you for your time and for your patience. You've just witnessed one young black woman overcome her fear, sharing her trials and tribulations. Jeez. Mirror, mirror mm -hmm. on the wall. No longer afraid to look. I now hold my head high and stand nice and tall. Yeah. Yeah.